Uh, hi, this is Joe again with another movie review. Uh, I, I just had done a video for a Little Shop of Horrors, and now I'm going to do a review which is hopefully is my last review for horror films. And I you know, pretty much did everything everything I wanted to do with, with this horror genre. I did one with all the movies, I did one with my favorite anime and Halloween shows, and put my favorite television. How many thing episodes of television shows? Now I'm gonna probably do the last one, which is, uh, which is of course, the Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I'm talking about the 1956 version. I'm not talking about all the other versions because I think they're not as good as the original. Uh, a lot of people say the one in the 1970s is just as good, not better than the, than the original. I really can't say because I haven't seen the 70s version. I only stuck with the original one because that's the, you know, I feel it's the best one. The original stars Kevin McCarthy, Dana Meyer, and, and you can look for Carolyn Jones, who played Morticia Adams in the Adams Family television show in this movie. And those of you who don't know the story of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, it stars Kevin McCarthy as a small town doctor in Santa Maria, California. And he comes home, he rushes home from a medical convention. And the nurse tells him that people, or you have an office full of people who are dying to see you. And he says, oh, that's strange, he sent to these other doctors. And the, and, the, and the nurse says, yeah, but they want to see you instead. And oh, okay. And they find out that his old girlfriend is back in town, played by Dana Meyer, who was a major, who was a major hottie in, in 1956, and and he says, oh, he found out that she got, she had got married, she got divorced, and, and so then Kevin McCarthy's character also just got divorced, and because both of them just went to Mino for a quick divorce, and that was it, and they found out that. You know, something weird was going on in town because he gets to the office and a lot of the patients uh, cancel their apartments. And the nurse says, I don't understand that. And they all wanted to see you. And I said, But you're still booked out for the afternoon. So I bet you they don't show up. And then that's when his old girlfriend, Becky Driscoll, comes in. And she says, Oh, I want you to see my cousin. I said, You know, her, her uncle. And I said, Yeah, my, her uncle is my uh, patient, one of my patients. And he says, oh, my cousin has the idea that her uncle is her uncle. I said, what do you mean? Is that really related? I said, a, 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 no, I don't know what it is. So he goes to the, who sees uh, Becky's cousin. He says, oh, he has the same memories, but there's something missing. There's no emotion there. And he realizes there's no emotion there. So he says, oh, why don't you go see the uh, local psychiatrist? And then they want, he, he sees it. Kevin McCarthy's character sees the psychiatrist and says, this is what's been going on in the town. But, but half the town is sort of like about like a week ago. And the whole town is, but ha at least half the town is affected already with, with this thing. It's like a mass hysteria. And then it's sort of realizing that more and more people or and one man they say that the uncle's not the uncle or, the, or, my, or there's one kid so the mother wasn't the mother. And then he finds out that these parts are in the house. And one of, the fr one of the friends has a dead body in the house. And then, of course, eventually the, the body, the dead body, starts changing into the, the friend, or Kevin McCarthy's uh, friend. And then he realizes there's something really weird is going on, and then the friend says, well, then it's Jack. So Jack says, well, what, what about Becky? She went away. So he goes to the house because Becky out. And then really so there's this dead bodies in the house. Transforming into, you know, the people that we know. And and then really says so it's parts. Transforming into human beings. And, and trying to figure out is, what is, what is this? And, and Jack goes to try and find help. And then meanwhile, he turns into a pop, a pop person because it's all made of pots. 
And of course, then they realize that the psychiatrist and Jack tell them what was going on. The psychiatrist tells them what's going on. About two weeks ago, these seeds that came from the sky, from outer space, then in Farmer's Field, that's outside town, and they grew into and these seeds became pods, and these pods became took the lives of the people in our town. And when that happened, they realized that hey, life is better. You're gonna have emotions. It's like it's like the Mr. Spock of you know of parts because it takes away all your emotions. And that's what was missing, the emotion the emotion factor. And of course Becky and Miles, who was Kevin McCarthy's character's name, runs out of the town and trying to get into the highway and trying to go to the capital to, to uh Sacramento. And then meanwhile they hide out in this cave for, because everybody in the town has not been affected except for the two of them. And so they're hiding out in this cave and of course what happens was because Becky falls asleep for a couple of seconds and you can see her transform. You haven't seen anybody transform up until by the end of this movie. And she transforms into a power person and, and says, Why don't you accept us, Miles? You know? Miles are right. It's better this way. Life is better this way. Says, oh no, oh no, Becky, Becky. Because all upset, all scared, and everything else. And he runs off. And he's trying to convince people. And of course, there's a famous scene in the end of the movie where he goes, Damn, I'm ready. You're next. You're next. And, and, and of course, he gets sent to the movie bin. And he's trying to convince the doctors there that, hey, this stuff is going on. And then, of course, after he tells his whole story, which pretty much the whole movie was in flashbacks. He and there's another guy who comes in from a car accident and said, Look, that we drug this guy out in the swing this the things we ever saw. And the guy who says, What things? And he said, I didn't know I never saw them before. They like giant huge seed pods. The seed pods. He said, Where was the truck coming from? And he said, Sent to mirror. Dum 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 dum. No. So so naturally, of course, naturally, but now they, they believe the Kevin McCarthy character, and now they want to call the FBI or the state, the state police, and they close all the rules down from coming in and out of this town, because otherwise this this thing, whatever, is, all these parts are going to spread all over the either California and then eventually the country, and that's pretty much how the movie ends. And originally there was not the original ending of those sh of uh, oh, the invasion of the bias snatchers. The original ending was, was when he, he was on the freeway trying to convince people. You know, when, when he's screaming, the hero ready and you're next. But uh, the producers they didn't like that ending, they wanted to add more to it because it was originally sh a shorter movie. It was only years so now, now a 20 minute movie with the scene in the beginning where he's in the hospital, he begins to tell a story. And of course, at the end of the uh, movie where he's in the hospital and says, oh, what's the use? And so it's fine. And then they had the scene with the truck driver and the scene that I just mentioned what was the actual ending now, the way it is now. But the original ending did not have that scene in it. They went back and they added the, the scene in the beginning and the scene in the end. And they were to convince people right, and, and made it to a better with the scene in the beginning and the scene in the end made it to a better movie. And it is scary. Scarier than the last review I did was for Little Trouble Horrors. This one was, you know, a pretty scary film. And I remember seeing this thing in junior high school. You used to see it on, on like a Saturday afternoon or, or Sunday afternoon. So you used to show this movie on the weekends. But not anymore. Now it was pretty much on cable. You rarely see it even on cable, which is a shame. Uh, but, but it is a good movie if you check it out. The original version of Body Snatchers. And I don't even have seen the other version, so I can't really do a proper review on it. But check them out. I can. Thank you for watching. Uh, like the vi like, please like the video, or rate it, comment it, and subscribe to my up above. Subscribe to my page. Thank you for watching.